people don't seem to recognize that. There is a law. The United Nations Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous Peoples permits every nation that wants to separate from the country that they, long, uh, they belong to now to do so. But you have to do it peacefully. That's a provision. You cannot say because you want separation out of a country, uh, you want to destabilize a country, you want to break down the peace of the country, you want to attack the country, that's not allowed. Determination has been pursued peacefully. Now, this is 2004. It started in 2009. That's roughly five years now, slightly under five years. And we have no record of violence. A group of persons led by Mrs. Modupe Onitiri Abiola uh, tried to take over the government secretariat in Ibadan, and they were overpowered eventually uh, by uh, state authorities. Mrs. Modupe Onitiri Abiola having made a statement declaring the Democratic Republic of Nigeria, of Yoruba land, of Udua, as a sovereign nation. You reacted. You said, uh, uh, you know, uh, you were not aware of it and that these were careless people. Uh, Chief Sunday Boo also uh, reacted and said that these were just a bunch of uh, insane people uh, trying to uh, do what they were not sent to do. However, Prof, I recall that you led the uh, struggle for self-determination of the Yorubas. And now you condemn the... Uh, a splinter group called the uh, Uminira Yoruba. What is the difference between the bigger ideological movement that you lead and, you know, the uh, one led by uh, Mrs. Mudukwe Unichiri Abiola? Could it just be that the difference is just method? Isn't the idea the same? Well, well, they are not the same. We started a movement for the liberation of the Yoruba nation from Nigeria under existing laws of the international community. People don't seem to recognize that. There is a law. The United Nations Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous Peoples permits every nation that wants to separate from the country that they, long, uh, they belong to now to do so. But you have to do it peacefully. That's a provision. You cannot say because you want self-determination for your nation out of a country. Uh, you want to destabilize a country. You want to break down the peace of the country. You want to attack the laws of the country. No, that's, that's not allowed. The movement that I lead is, a, is, a, is an intellectually sophisticated movement, disciplined, and no member, not a single person in the entire movement, and we are in the millions all over the world, we are in the millions. Not a single one of us will do what uh, Mrs. Abiola did, what Onitiri did. Not a single one of us. She was entirely, she and her people were entirely on their own. They are not part of us and we are not part of them in any way. Uh, our struggle for self-determination has been pursued peacefully. We started in 2019 and this is 2024. That's roughly five years now, slightly under five years. And we have no record of violence. In the year 2021, in the middle of year, uh, 2021, we launched a number of rallies, public rallies. The first one was in Ibadan, and it was very large. Uh, about 1.2 million people were present in that rally. And we thought, oh, we, were do we had done well. But then we moved to Abelkuta, and people in Abelkuta were much larger in number than the ones in Ibada. And we went to Shogo, and from there went to Akure, and uh, 
went to Adoikiti. In Adoikiti, the crowd was the largest ever. About 3.1 million people clogged the streets of Adoikiti for the whole day. And in all of these mammoth rallies, nobody misbehaved. Nobody behaved in an unruly or unlawful way. The police didn't have to caution anybody. The police did not arrest anybody. Nobody was wounded in any way. It was a happy rally. We're well, proud. Young people, educated young people, clamoring for their own country separate from Nigeria. That's entirely lawful. We're well, proud. Uh, there is entirely a report. Entirely under the law. Prof, there is a report in the paper. And so, and so nobody, and so nobody, and so nobody was arrested. And nobody can be arrested in such circumstances. Well, Prof, there's a story in the papers today. That's who we are. Well, Prof, there's a story in the papers today saying that you as a leader of the Yoruba self-determination movement, as now you have now written to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to say that Yorubas would like to break away uh, from That's Nigeria through negotiations. Well, Do you think that uh, President Tinubu will sit, will allow his government to sit at a table with uh, some Yoruba people saying they want to break away from Nigeria, when Section 2 of the Constitution says that Nigeria is indissoluble and indivisible. Is, that's, what the law of, that's what the Constitution of Nigeria says. But the, the law of Nigeria also, part of the law of Nigeria says that self-determination is a legitimate right. Well, because when the United Nations passed uh, the, the declaration, Nigeria was a signatory to it. Nigeria brought the law, that declaration, to the National Assembly. The National Assembly approved it, and the President of Nigeria signed it. That made it part of the law of Nigeria. The same thing with the Africa Charter of, of, uh, peoples, of human and people's rights. But prof, sir. The president of Nigeria brought it to Nigeria, took it to the National Assembly. The National Assembly approved of it. Then the president signed it. That makes it a, a part of the law of Nigeria. But, but, and sir. courts in Nigeria have declared, have made the statement that fighting for self-determination is not unlawful in Nigeria. So uh, uh, we are not doing anything unlawful. But, sir, uh, and we have no reason to want to stop it. But, sir, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. The same Nigerian constitution says that even when we sign international covenants and conventions, it becomes law in Nigeria when it is domesticated. Now, you are an Awoist. You were part of the uh, Awo movement and all of that. Awo, the late siege, wanted self-determination in the constitution, 1960, 1963. It never succeeded. And there's no, the Nigerian constitution does not uh, allow anybody to say they want to break away from any part of Nigeria. So I, I don't know. I mean, you are the teacher uh, of history. The, law, yeah. the, the, the laws of Nigeria allows individual Nigerians or groups of Nigerians to advocate for self-determination for their people. That's, that, that cannot be contradicted. The laws of Nigeria allows peoples in Nigeria to advocate for the self-determination of their people. Well, I'm, I'm not saying... That's the law. Well, but I'm... And that's why when we went on... That's why when we went on rallies and uh, so on, nobody could arrest any, any one of, our, of, of those boys and girls. Well, but... Because they were acting entirely lawfully. Okay, Prof. No, the... Listen, there is a... In, in this kind of situation, after the, uh, after the folly and the criminal folly uh, by uh, Onitiri and the others, there is a, there is a natural uh, reaction. And people are now uh, saying that Nigeria, uh, are now saying things that are really not true about Nigeria. The laws of Nigeria allow Nigerians to fight for the self-determination of their people peacefully. Well, I'll try and check. And uh, Yoruba people who are fighting peacefully for the self-determination of uh, the Yoruba nation from Nigeria are doing it absolutely lawfully. But do you have any expectation that uh, President Tinubu uh, will sit down and negotiate 
for the Yorubas to leave Nigeria when he is himself a Yoruba man. My, that, that, that is the business of the president. He will do what he thinks is good for the country. We will do what we, is, we think is good for our own nation from Nigeria. And nobody is disputing the fact that we Yoruba have been destroyed in Nigeria. Last night, only this last night, crowds of young people called me from somewhere in Oyo State that Fulani people had invaded their village and uh, had, had scattered the whole place. We cannot continue to live like that. If anybody thinks that a people like the Yoruba people will continue to live like that, you are deceiving yourself. You may pander to the, to the, to the Constitution. You may pander, pander to, the, uh, to the authorities of the land. But you cannot, you cannot twist the truth out of existence. That's the thing. You cannot say you do not know that the Yoruba people are under pressure in Nigeria. You cannot say that Yoruba people are not being killed and, uh, uh, and killed in Nigeria. You cannot say that, uh, that a group of young men did uh, an estimation of how many Yoruba people have been killed. They think it's up to about 29,000. You cannot put that way. So why are our why are some people behaving as if you're pandering to the government and pandering to to uh, uh, yeah to the government to to, to the authorities uh, negates the rights of other people? It doesn't. Well, no matter how much you pander, you can tell me, oh, is President Tinubu going to sit with uh, with us? And so it's his duty to sit sit with us. That's his duty. Well, the law says so. Well, we write a letter to the president. It is his duty to answer us. And to, yeah, he can say no, what you are asking for, I won't grant it. But he has no right to, he has no duty to tell us, I will not answer your letter. But sir, you he has a duty to answer our letter. You, you raise the same issues under the Buhari administration. President uh, Buhari uh, did not uh, just ignore. Yes. He went after Sunday Bo. And uh, he showed that uh, his government would not allow any kind of challenge from anybody, whether Yoruba or Igbo. Why would uh, President Tinubu uh, listen to you, even when you said the you were not interested in the election? That, uh, yeah, the president can say that as much as they like, but the president cannot unilaterally change the law of the land. That's the truth. The president, it is the duty of the president to say, oh my, this country, I will preserve its unity. I, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But that does not negate the lawful right of the people of Yoruba land or whatever part of Nigeria to seek for their self-determination. But, Prof, there seems to be some confusion we don't among the with, Yoruba we don't, we don't quarrel with, we don't, we don't, we don't quarrel with the president for saying uh, nobody can, should uh, should want to, uh, uh, to should want to break up Nigeria. So it's fine. That's what the president is supposed to be saying. But we who know what is happening to our people, who think that the answer is to get out of Nigeria, we have a right to put it to the president and to put it to the world. But, That's all. But there seems to be co uh, some confusion in Yoruba land. I see that maybe perhaps the generality of the people uh, do not feel as passionate about self-determination. And secondly, there is all kinds of positions. Afeni Fere is talking about restructuring. You, you are talking know, about self-determination. You don't know the you don't know you don't know the nature of the Yoruba society. You don't. Most of the young people, and they are the majority in Yoruba land, want their, the self-determination of their Yoruba nation. That's the truth of the matter. That's what is keeping the movement going. And they are also doing so in the diaspora. Yoruba young men and women all over the world want their own country, separate from Nigeria. 
Then you cannot deny that. No matter how much you want to pander to the government, you cannot deny that. But That's the truth. But anyway. The important thing, however, the important thing, however, and I'm surprised that you are not talking about that, is that the Yoruba people who are fighting for self-determination are telling the world and telling themselves that they will do it only peacefully. We are Yoruba. We, look, we, we know our status in the world. We know our status, status in the black world. We do not want to destroy the peace of, of Nigeria. And we do not want to bring difficulty into the lives of any other group in Nigeria. But we want to get out of Nigeria. That's it. That's it. Well, Prof, you are a strong member. And you're not talking about that. You are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are asking me questions. You are asking me questions as if uh, what Onitiri did has a, has a support of uh, the majority of Yoruba people who want self-determination. It is not true. Well, Prof. She has a small minority of uh, uh, a section that is, uh, that is ready to do illegalities. A year ago, they went and attacked a radio station in Ibada and so on. Now this year, they are attacking the entire government of Ibadan, and so on. Ah, no. No, no, but we, we have never sent anybody to go and do that. And we do not, uh, we do not support it or encourage it. Prof. And we think it is criminal. Prof. You and so, so if, they get, if they get punished for their criminality, we have no objection to that. Prof, you, you are a strong but you member. you cannot because of them generalize opposition to self-determination. You cannot. Well, Prof, you are a strong member of the uh, Unity Party of Nigeria. Also a very strong member of Afeni Ferry. Afeni Ferry is talking about restructuring. You are now talking about self-determination. What is the difference, you know, in these two yes, ideological yes, positions? Yes, yes, our, our, yes. Our fathers in Afeni Ferry are doing the right thing, talking about uh, restructuring, so that we can go back and live our own life the way we used to live it prosperously. They're doing the right thing. There is nothing wrong with that. But we, another group of people, larger in number than they, are now saying, no, self-determination is the answer, not, not restructuring. Why? Because when you restructure, you are still in Nigeria. And the people who are coming and disrupting your life and dis destroying your farms and killing your women and raping your mothers and, and, uh, and, and, and uh, daughters and so on, are still Nigerians. They still have a right to come to Nigeria. The only final solution to that is to separate so that you have a separate Yoruba country where we can make our own laws and so on, where to which we admit only people we want to admit. So nobody can claim that they have a right to come to our land. They don't have such a But as long as we are in Nigeria, no matter what restructuring is done, they still have the right to come to our land and do the things that we are doing. Nobody is talking about the fact that most Yoruba farmers have been driven from the, their farms. I am not hearing that. I'm hearing only about government. I'm not hearing about people. You are not talking about the fact that most Yoruba farmers have been driven from their farms and that the Yoruba nation is in danger of farming upon farming upon farming for years and years to come. You are not talking of the fact that the Fulani declared war on Nigeria on the 24th of January and 26th of January and said that Tenubu is not our president. We are going to Aksu Rock. We will, uh, we will take over the seat of government there and we will use, and we will use this place to organize a, 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 the conquest of the rest of Nigeria. You are not talking about that. You are not talking of people who said, nobody, no Fulani man must be arrested for the bomb in Ibadan. If you do, we, you will have bombs in every town in Yoruba, in, 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 in Nigeria. Nobody is talking about that. Nobody is talking about the sheer insult of living in a country where some people are treating the government like that. You are talking about, well, about, about uh, Onitiri and so on. You are, uh, why do our... 
Well, Prof, let me ask you this. Self-determination, you are, are you, you are recommend? Entitled, you are entitled to your opinion. You are entitled to your opinion. But what I'm saying is that your opinion rigorously avoids the truth. Rigorously. Well, Prof. Avoids we, the truth. Nigeria, as uh, Onigo Tite told us in his uh, research on ethnic nationalities in Nigeria, has over 300 ethnic nationalities. Will you recommend self-determination to all the other ethnic nationalities in Nigeria for all these those, nationalities those, to break those, away? Those who want it, have, those who want it, don't ask me a general question. I, I'm asking for self-determination for a nation, the Yoruba nation. There are about 60 million people in Nigeria. And uh, they have, their territory is large enough to be a, a large country. So that's what I'm talking about. Any other nationality in Nigeria that wants self-determination is free to, to ask for it. I'm, I cannot come and ask for self-determination for nations that are not mine. No. Well, well Prof, as we have this, uh, we're having this conversation. You are in uh, Kutunu, Republic of Benin. Not too long ago, after Chief Sunday Igbohu returned to uh, Nigeria, uh, one of your spokespersons, uh, Mr. Gani Alagbaka, I think, uh, said that uh, uh, Professor Akitoye will also be coming home very soon. How soon, Prof? Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming home. It's, it's my prerogative in life to decide how I move. Yeah. Certainly. That's but, my right. But are you very... Or, I, or, or, or would you want... Or would you want, because of your support for Nigeria, also limit my right to move as I like? The Prof, are you very optimistic that one day this vision of self-determination for the people of Yoruba land will come to pass? It will come to pass. Well, it will come to pass. Nobody can stop it. Well, on that note, I'd like to thank you very much. And we are not hostile to any government. We were not hostile to Buhari. We were not hostile to Buhari. So why should we be hostile to our own man who is president? He's our boy. He's our, he's our son. He's, he's our brother. One, uh, you know, so we cannot be hostile to him. We were not hostile to Buhari. We sent a message to Buhari. Buhari uh, told his people that election was coming. He didn't have time for, to answer us. And so they didn't answer us. All right. Uh, but elections are not coming now. And we want the president of Nigeria to discuss with us. Uh, president Buhari stood up in the United Nations General Assembly in 2016 and 2017 and said, self-determination is the legitimate right the inalienable right of every nation in the world. He said that, he even said at some point, it is immoral for anybody to, to forcefully deny self-determination to any people. So people ask him, what about the people, the, the uh, uh, indigenous people of Biafra who are asking for their nation? He said, if, if the people who are asking for Biafra would do it peacefully through a peaceful organization, then we, the, the Nigerian state, will have no other option than to discuss with them, to negotiate with them. What? Oh, yeah. You, you, people don't know these things, or people refuse to know these things because they want to, uh, to, to, to appear to be supporting the government. But this is not a question of supporting or no. We are not, we in this Yoruba self-determination uh, movement, we are not opposed to Nigeria, we are uh, to Nigerian government. We don't oppose our people who are ruling us, no. But we think the time has come when a nation like the Yoruba must take its freedom and create its own kind of country where our people can live the way we used to live under Chief Oba Femi Awolowo. That's what our people want. They don't, you know, we don't hate anybody. We are not hostile. Even the Fulani who are coming and killing us, it's very difficult to get Yoruba people to hate them. You cannot preach 
hatred of another nation to, to Yoruba people. You cannot. It doesn't happen. It is not in their blood. So they don't hate the Fulani. They don't hate their uh, ego. They don't hate outside. They don't hate anybody. They just want to get out and go and live their own life the way they know how to live it. That's all. Like, comment, and share.